Hello again, I am Blunty. The handheld gaming PC, it's now maturing. We're starting to see a second generation refinement of the high profile global branded devices. Like for example, the next in line to my own device, the Ally X is about to hit shelves. That and increasing competition overall mean we're seeing more accessible, more affordable devices, existing models drop in price, and even the second hand market and friend and family hand-me-downs uh, put them in more hands than ever before. But like laptops, the nature of the compact and specialized uh, engineering these things need to be practical handheld devices also means, well, there's limited upgrade paths. But there is still an easy path to bringing bigger, faster, better into the picture with these devices. Enter the star product of this WD sponsored video, the WD Black SN770M NVMe SSD now. These handheld gaming PCs tend to come with good, but middle of the road performance wise drives pre-installed, often in sizes though that don't allow much in the way of game libraries given the size of many of today's games. The good news is though, these drives are one of, if not the only performance and experience vital component that is also user replaceable. And even if you're not a big tech nerd, rest assured, it's way easier and less scary than you might imagine to chuck this into here in a really easy and seamless way. Upgrading the drive is, in fact, the easiest path forward for accessing as much power and flexibility as possible from these handheld gaming PCs. More choice, more games on the go, and if you choose carefully, sponsored product Wiggle Wiggle, uh, a noticeable boost in performance, load times, even right down to simple install times, all boosted. So, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the simple steps I just took to kick my own ROG LA up the bum and make it better than ever before. That's right, this is an empty box. It's already in there. Spoiler alert. Uh, now, the Ally has a special BIOS trick that even if you put in a shiny new blank drive, it will automatically reinstall Windows for you right from the internet. Very handy, but it will be a fresh install. So you have to reinstall all of your games and apps and launches and installers and uh, who wants that? But what I'm gonna show you today is way better for our needs. It's free and will work with any kind of device, not just the ROG Ally. In fact, not just handheld PCs in general, laptops, desktop computers, same thing. Uh, what makes it a better choice though here is the fact that it preserves all of your game installs, all of your program launches, all of your settings, your logins, everything. It is a seamless upgrade. Now, to get this done, we'll be using a free trial of Macrium Reflect, a drive cloning software. And unlike some other similar types of software, this one can clone an active Windows install, meaning you can do this all right on the handheld itself, even as you are cloning the very drive Windows and the cloning software is currently running on. It's all very clever. So we want the 64-bit installer from their website. You install it like you would any other program, double click the executable, away you go. Give Windows a restart to finish off the install progress and you're good to go. Next up, we need this new WD Black SN770M SSD in a portable drive enclosure. These can be had for very cheap off Amazon and the like. And as a bonus, once we're done, you can put the drive you're replacing from the ROG LA back into this case and afterwards have a nice external drive for whatever you need. Now these external drive enclosures all look a bit different, but inside they're more or less identical. You slide the WD drive into the socket and don't worry, it only fits in one way around so you cannot get it wrong. Lock it down, this will be either some sort of latch or a screw, in my case a little plastic latch. Uh, you put the case back together and you plug it into your handheld. You can do this directly on the USB port on the top, but as the Windows cloning operation is going to take a while, I would highly recommend using a USB hub with power pass through or your dock so you can keep the device powered on and connected to mains power the entire time to uh, avoid, you know, the battery going flat halfway through or something like that. You don't want that to happen. Now we boot up Macrium Reflect. The top part is the internal drive. That's the one we're cloning, the one in the device itself. Underneath that, you want to select copy partitions and then select shrink or extend to fill target disk. By selecting this option, Macrium will automatically resize your main drive partition. So Windows knows about all the extra space that you can see there. You hit next, then hit next again, because we're doing this now, we're not gonna schedule it for later. Then hit finish and okay. It'll give you a little warning about overwriting the destination drive, which of course in our case is a brand new blank drive anyway, so you can just hit continue and away you go. Now, you just leave it alone until it's done. And it will take a while, in my case about two and a half hours, but that will vary a little bit depending on how much stuff is already on the drive that it needs to actually copy across and clone in the first place. Once it's done, you're ready for the next step. There is a perfect copy of your drive on the WD. Remove it from its external enclosure and we're ready to do the drive swap. 
Next, open up the handheld. It's usually pretty easy, just a few screws on the back panel, but if you're not used to doing this, you can always have a quick Google for the correct procedure to opening up your own device. It won't be hard to find. Uh, for the Ally, it's six screws all around the exterior. Then you just pop the back off with a little plastic spudger or something to make sure we don't damage the case. Don't use a metal screwdriver to try and pry it open. You'll regret it, I promise you. <laughs> You'll find the old drive underneath a little flap of plastic. Removing it is much like we did with the external case. A singular retaining screw and out it pops. Now you just swap in the newly minted clone on the WD Black SN77M. And again, it can only fit in one way around. So you cannot mess this up without the application of a kind of strength and determination of an especially stubborn and cranky gorilla. Retaining screw goes back in, back goes back on. Screws for the back go back in. Tap on the power button and you will be greeted with a very familiar Windows boot and an install exactly as you left it. And I do mean exactly. This is a literal clone. There's nothing else to do. No tidy up, no fixing of special settings, nothing to dig into to make sure Windows knows what's coming on. Aside from quadrupling the size of my drive and a boost in drive speed, the device and even Windows itself has no idea that anything has changed. It's just going to truck along perfectly happy. Now, as far as speed goes, here's what the old default drive was rated for. And here's what the WD Black SN77M SSD specs look like. <laughs> and here's what the old drive tested like in Crystal Disk Mark. And here's what the new drive does. And I tell you what, compared to how you'd have to do something like this back in the day, and I've got the old gray beard, so when I say back in the day, I mean back in the day. This is so easy, so gloriously seamless. This used to be such a fuss. You kids these days, you're so lucky. And as always, whenever I do some sponsorship stuff with WD, I would not take their money unless I would personally be happy to use their stuff. And I do, and I am. My gaming rig, my editing rig, my network storage RAID. You'll find WD drives tucked away in each and every one of them. And now, my handheld gaming PC too. So thank you WD, I honestly was getting a bit tired of juggling game installs on this thing. <laughs> so thanks for cleaning up some extra time for gaming for me. Less time uninstalling or reinstalling various games and more time just playing. So hopefully you found this useful, interesting or informative, perhaps all of the above even. Hopefully you've done a little comment and a little thumb and sub and bell along the way. Thank you for your attention. Thank you to the patrons scrolling away up above there who's above and bell support. I do appreciate it very much. And one last thank you to WD. Catch you next time.